Hey guys, today we are going to go over taste. And that has a lot to do with the tongue. And the uh, name for this pathway is called the gustatory pathway. And that involves two cranial nerves. We have the facial nerve and the glossopharyngeal. So if you look at my little drawing here, we have uh, somebody's nose over here. And then this large oval is going to be the tongue. And there's a couple of different things going on with the tongue. So I'm going to start drawing a couple of uh, little uh, circles here that have little, they look like um, spirals. These are called fungiform papillae. And these are found on the anterior, that's the front, right? Two thirds of the tongue. So they're going to be connected directly to the um facial nerve, which is going to be looking at the uh, front two-thirds or the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. Now, there are a couple of them in the back of the tongue, but there's not as many. So this is called, I'm going to put number one over here, fungiform papillae. And these are on the front or the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. Right, and these are, you know, what your, your, your taste buds, where they're located. All right, then we have this interesting sort of, um, uh, it looks like a, a greater than or less than sign over here, right? This actually has a name. This is called, I'm going to use blue over here, this area. Boom. This is called the sulcus terminalis. And this actually separates the anterior tongue from the posterior tongue. Separates the anterior two thirds from the posterior two, well, one third, not two thirds, right? That wouldn't make sense. One third. All right, and then we have some taste buds on there. And we'll use a green color over here. They're actually located on the sulcus terminalis. And these are going to be called the valet, even though it's spelled valet papillae. So, so far we had the fungiform papillae and we have the valet, valet or valet papillae. And that's number, I'm not numbering these like I was, that's number two and this is number three. Now we're not done yet. We have a uh, couple more over here. We had ones, we have ones that are on the side of our tongue. However, this is pretty interesting. They're really not functional in you and I. They're used primarily the thought is when you are an infant and it's used to taste milk and apparently these taste buds um, give milk its flavor to infants and then they want more milk and these have a name over here these are called and this will be number four foliate papillae you notice it's all papillae 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 right so this is in young kids and infants and allegedly it's for the taste of milk now that's in our textbooks today but there's a lot of research on well i wouldn't say a lot right now but there's research on that and so this is not don't quote me on it so if you learn something in the next 10 years when some of you become doctors and it changes don't get mad at me and then we have one more piece to the tongue and this is important here especially if you enjoy ice cream right because if we didn't have these, having an ice cream cone would be a pain in the neck. So I'm going to make them as little, um, that's too close to the uh, color that I had before. Let's go with, there we go, that's better. I'm going to make them like little triangles, but they really don't look like that. But you can see them. If you eat ice cream, you can see it. Like if you eat vanilla, you'll actually see them. These are used for friction, and they're called filiform papillae. So without these, eating an ice cream cone would be quite difficult. It would be difficult to get the, the um, ice cream off of the cone or off of itself. So this is number five. Sorry about that. Filiform 
papillae. And this is used for friction. I'll do that. Let me just finish this. Thank you. And these are, they're conical. And they're arranged in rows. And again, they're used for like friction. Okay. So that's the tongue itself. Now I just want to get into the taste buds. So I'm going to jump down over here. And I'm going to go number six. Right? Taste buds. Now, I'm not going to go into too many details, but for those of you going into medical schools and stuff, you're going to have to know the pathways, and it's pretty crazy. But for us, we're just going to go over what a taste bud looks like. So those would be embedded in your tongue. And you have taste cells inside of these. Seven. Taste cells. So these are actual cells, right? They look like and that would be one of them. There's three different types of taste cells. There's two, and there's three. And at the bottom, you would have nerves or neurons that are connected there, but I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Uh, so we have three different types of taste cells. We have R1, two, and three. And then over here, this is gonna be neurons that are gonna be connecting to that, and then it's gonna be connecting to the facial or the glossopharyngeal. And that's number nine. The last piece here, why did I write nine? What's going on here? That's number eight. The last thing here is going to be number nine, and that would be your types of taste these taste cells can taste. So our different types are going to be sweet, Right, so that's our sugars, our carbohydrates, our salt, that's our sodium, right? Our bitters, that's going to be our bases. Our sours, those are going to be acids. And one last one, it's one of my favorites. Um, if you are into like steaks or even a lot of cooking that involves um, soy sauces or mushrooms, it's called umami. And this is a um, sort of taste of amino acids. It's sort of like a meaty type of taste. So there's a lot of umami flavor in meats. Sours are acids. Bitters are bases. Salts are obviously your sodiums. And then sweet is going to be your carbohydrates, uh, the glucose and all that. All right. So I went through all the different parts on the tongue. Tomorrow you will have a uh, worksheet to fill out, basically labeling the tongue. Have a good day.